You have a very full agenda today. Let's get started. Justice Thomas, take your seat, please. Ah, hey, sure. Just call me Clarence. Just making sure everybody had a hot cup of coffee. Just want to make sure everyone's happy. You know me, nothing wrong with kissing a little butt. Thank you, Justice. Okay, our first case is the state of Washington versus Kareem Johnson. Discrimination. Nay. Nay? Uh, double nay. Don't you even want to discuss the case, Justice Thomas? Oh, come on. The guy's a whiner. You let one black guy complain about discrimination, and the next thing you know, you have the <laughs> state of Washington versus cool in the gang. <laughs> let him get a job the old-fashioned way. Let him earn it. Uh, you want another brand muffin? I could use some more coffee, Claire. Sure thing. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the case of Springfield Police Department versus Hector Rodriguez Gonzalez. Justice Thomas. I mean, uh... Well, uh, how are uh, the rest of you guys going to vote? I'm voting for the police department. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, the police department. I mean, come on. They fired four warning shots. Unfortunately, three of them hit the guy. But hey, <laughs> if you're going to jaywalk in front of Winchell's, don't come crying to us. I say uh, whatever the rest of you guys say. Justice Thomas, I realize this is your first day, but you've got to relax. Take it easy. You're going to be here for the rest of your life. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Um, I have this job for the rest of my life. <laughs> You're just like Daryl Gates. They can't get rid of you. So, so, so. <laughs> so let me get this straight. No matter what I do, no matter who I piss off, I'm here to stay. More or less, yes. Oh, man. Justice Thomas! I'd love a refill on my coffee. Yo, man, you better get out of my face. You say no damn Dennis. Get it yourself. Excuse me, baby. Now, let's get back to this case involving my main man, Rodriguez. Now, this is clearly a case of police brutality. Five minutes ago, you were against him. Yeah, well, five minutes ago, I was a black judge appointed by Bobo, the white president. Well, what are you now? I'm your darkest nightmare. A black judge with a powerful hung jury. You call me Mr. Thomas. This is a complete outright. Million Mega Dog. You have betrayed everyone who worked to put you on this court. Look here, man. I don't know what you said, but I am awfully sorry. I guess you thought you knew Clarence Thomas. I bet you're all sitting here right now saying to yourselves, who's the black Supreme Court judge who's a rights machine for the brothers? Thomas! Where is Thomas? <laughs> they say this cat Thomas is a bad mother. Shut your mouth! But I'm just talking about Clarence! He's a complicated man and nobody understands him but his woman. Court of judge! Save me. the south of the border. He is a grande, spectacular, muchacho rocketeer. Come on, you son of your is everywhere. And look for your El Muchacho rocketeer glasses and mugs at your participating Taco Bell and Del Taco. Shop 
to do, so listen up, kids. The local school board has ordered me to distribute condoms to you students. Now, personally, I don't get it. You can't say a prayer in front of you kids, but it's okay for me to teach you how to saran wrap your jolly parts. <laughs> take them. Take as many as you like. See what I can. But let me tell you something, Missy. You are drag racing with a loaded gun. And I'm going to call your parents and tell them what you're up to. Oh, Mr. McAfee, I don't even want these. Yeah, I'm not fooled. I was young once, too. I know what it's like to be a steaming cauldron of lust. <laughs> Wanting it. Burning for it. Lying at bed at night, those cold sheets rubbing against your soft, hot, prepubescent flesh. You're sick! You can't fool the back man, baby. I know you're just a one-woman welcome wagon for the incoming fresh night. What's this? Why don't you take a hike, you little trollop? Now, how many times have I told you about fraternizing between classes, Hardison? What the hell is this? Jeez, Mr. McAfee, those are crib notes from my math class. Yeah, I'll be the judge of this. The uh, input of the square root into y, the angle of the hypotenuse is equal to... Why, this is smart, mister. <laughs> now I'll never figure out that problem. Yeah, well, this is the kind of problem you should be trying to figure out on your wedding night. All right. <laughs> you want everything. Yeah, well, maybe I better give you Mr. McAfee's yes. speech on permiscuity. When you think with your crotch, you're going to end up crotchety. I just remember that one of those nights when they got a party in your pants. Get out of here. <laughs> This is what I like to see. Couple young, spirited bucks getting ready to play one of your boyish pranks. Young bucks, my middle name, Mr. McAfee. Oh, I know what you're doing. Heck, I used to love to do a little bit of that myself when I was a lad. You're gonna fill them up with water, take them on the roof, throw them off, huh, boys? Well, we was going to the roof. <laughs> take as many as you like. Go ahead, boys. Have a good time. Oh, you're kind of firm. You've been working out, son? Thank you, Mr. McAfee. Bye-bye now. Oh, stop right there, princess. Back off, McAfee. You know, the combination of L. Macalicious McAfee and fine American latex can be quite intoxicating. What do you say we take a couple of these babies out and see what they can do? Kind of push the envelope. You know, I got a bottle of baby oil in my locker. I wouldn't be in the room with you and one of those things if I could watch you pull it over your big head and suffocate. It's this, huh, baby? The old bum hip. Well, let me tell you something. When a man loses the use of one of his appendages, all the others work that much harder. You know, they used to call me lizard tongue. You didn't know that, did you? Oh, she wants me. Excuse me, young lady, what seems to be the problem? Don't you want any prophylactics, honey? Gee, Mr. McAfee, I don't really have any use for them. Yeah, I understand. I guess you just aren't having much luck with the boys, huh, honey? Well, I tell you what, there's your problem, little lady. You're out of shape. A few hundred sit-ups in the morning will burn that beer belly right off. You know, I think it's time you heard Mr. McAfee's speech on courtship. Boys don't make passes at girls with fat asses. Now take a listen. <laughs> McAfee, man, you know, I really dig what you're doing with this condom thing. Well, yeah. thanks, son. You got quite a hell of a grip there. Yeah, man, because, you know, a lot of teachers, man, they make us feel weird about this kind of stuff. But see, you cool, man. You down with the brothers. <laughs> thanks a lot, my boy. Yeah, I think when the kids need somebody to talk to, they know they can always turn to me. Al McAfee. Uh, all right, carry on, kids. <laughs> I'll never forget the first time I kissed a girl. It was in the back seat of my dad's old Impala. Yeah, man, making out in your old man's car. My dad had a Volkswagen. I couldn't do much of anything in the back seat of that thing. The first time I did it, I was in a little red Corvette. With Sheena Easton and Vanity. Or was that Morris? What <laughs> out, man. The craziest thing I ever did was break up with my high school sweetheart. <laughs> Man, when it comes to women, we're always doing something crazy. I know what you mean. One time, I poured chocolate all over Sheila and... Oh, is that Morris? <laughs> Butt out, man. 
<laughs> and you really want to turn a girl on? Put on some Luther Van Draw. Oh, man, that works with some girls. But the guy who really gets them going is Rick James. You're both wrong. Whenever I want a woman to get wild, all I have to do is... Met your bottom dollar. Ooh. I can make you feel all right. And if I make you holler, yeah! Just grit your teeth and hold on tight. I got a hold of my What are jeans by Prince? They're everything they're cracked up to be. Gentlemen, Shakespeare in the Park is proud to present Romeo and Juliet. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. 
<laughs> oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Shall I hear more or shall I speak at this? Hey! Hey, what's going on? Peace out, y'all. 